This Quranic declaration was translated by a supporter of Imam Mahdi Nazir Muhammad al Yamena grasping the main idea of his Arabic declaration written paragraphs. To read more articles go to Imam's website and click on International Section English Language. Website address is www.mahdi-alama.com The following is read by a computer-generated voice and edited by a supporter of the Imam Mahdi. Imam Nasser Muhammad al-Yemeni 2509-1428 after Hijra on lunar year which is on July 10, 2007 AD 4 AM Title of the Koraic Declaration A Brief Word About the Insolent Antichrist, the Liar Messiah and the First Resurrection. In the name of Allah the All-Merciful, the Most Merciful, surely Allah's answering prayers and his angels' prayers of forgiveness is upon the Prophet, Muhammad, O oh, you who believe, pray for forgiveness upon him, Muhammad, and salute him with best salutation, truthful Allah the Great. Holy Quran Al-Azab, translated in meaning and not word for word, chapter 33, verse 56. And prayers of forgiveness and peace upon Allah's Messenger, the seal of prophethood to all nations, Prophet Muhammad, and upon all the prophets and messengers before him, and upon all the followers to them with goodness till the day of judgment. And I do not differentiate or discriminate against any one of his messengers, and I am among of the submitters to God's will, Muslims. With that being said, O people, I am the awaited Mahdi, divinely guided man of God, the seal of Allah's Caliphus altogether. Allah made me an Imam, leader, to guide the people to a straight path, the path of the Almighty, the praised, and a savior to the living and those resurrect dead ones from past generations of the disbelievers, from the seduction of Al-Dajjal, the deceptive Messiah Antichrist. For Satan he is the one who wants to say that he is the Messiah Jesus son of Mary, and to says that he is Allah Lord of the worlds. But absolutely not he is not the Messiah Jesus son of Mary he is nothing but a liar, that's why it was foretold about his name to be false one, that is what's mentioned as the liar Messiah, for he is the outcast Satan. So do not let him seduce you as he expelled your four parents from the garden, hollow earth paradise. Surely he and his host from the hybrid satans of Gog and Magog see you from where you do not see them, from the garden of seduction, Allah's garden from beneath the soil as we made a declaration of Quran understanding clear about this subject to you before on a previous previous article of Quranic declaration about hollow earth posted on the website, and if Gog and Magog got out to you, then disclosure is happening, you would see them. As for these entities, they are entirely satanic and from the seed of Iblis, Lucifer, surely they are wicked souls of which shapeshifters ghosts appear and you see them pass in the darkness of the night to any one of you on the road, then to any one who experienced that, he should say as his Lord taught him to say, reading Holy Quran verses, say, I seek refuge in the Lord Lord of the dawn, one, from the evil of that which he has created, two, and from the evil of Gahasik, satanic entity that passes by night when the intense darkness overspreads, three, and from the evil of those who blow in.
knots, casters of evil spells which is for and from the evil of the envies when he who envies five truthful Allah the great holy Quran chapter al eklis chapter number 113 verses 1 to 5 and surely Lucifer knows about what going to take place in our lifetime, that is the coming first resurrection, when some infidels from nations before us God wells for them to be brought back again to life, for that Satan was quoted to have said, respite me till the day when they are raised, truthful Allah the great holy Quran chapter Al-Araf. Chapter number 7, verse 14 and he means the respiting in the garden of hollow earth and for his span of life to be extended till the day of first resurrection, therefore, he said, he said, have you see this he whom you have honored above me, Adam, if you respite me to the day of resurrection, I will certainly cause his progeny to perish except a few, truthful Allah the great. Holy Quran chapter al esra chapter number 17, verse 62. Adam and Eve were in the earth, they were in Allah's garden of in this earth, in confirming with Allah's word the Most High, from it we created you, and into it we shall return you, and from it raise you a second time. Truthful Allah the great Holy Quran chapter ta ha chapter number Number 20, verse 55. And already previously in a previous post for Holy Quran declaration of understanding, I made it clear to you about the reality of Allah's garden underneath the soil, hollow earth paradise, in which Adam and Eve were living, so Satan got them expelled out with his cunning plotting. They were placed out from the best form in sustenance, into, downfall, to the lowest of the low in sustenance, hardship living on the surface of earth. And I only make clear to you the verses that you will see, so the true explanatory statement I declare is going to be verified upon actual reality, so you wouldn't say as you used to think that Adam and Eve were abiding in a heavenly garden, a, k, a, eternal paradise in the heavens, of which they abide at the remote Sidra tree, tree by the throne of God past the heavens heavens. The downfall is only in the sustenance from the best style of life to the lowest of the low, life of hardship. The fact of what actually occurred in reality it is that they, Adam and Eve, were expelled out from the inside of earth, hollow part of this earth, to the outside, surface of earth, in confirming with Allah's word, the Most High, we said, O oh Adam, this is an enemy to you and to your wife, so let him not drive you both out of the garden so that you are unhappy. Truthful Allah the Great. Holy Quran chapter Ta Ha chapter number 20 verse 117. As for the first resurrection to whom Allah's which is to resurrect from the disbelievers of the nations far in time before us. These disbelievers accused their messengers of being liars, so at that time Allah annihilated them, but when the day of their resurrection comes in our lifetime, at this time, comes out the outcasted Satan, Lucifer, and his soldiers of Gog and Magog to seduce the living and the resurrected dead, that's because Satan was respited till the day of resurrection, therefore you've 
find the secret of the return of the dead is correlated with the coming out of Gog and Magog, and Allah the Most High said, and it is forbidden to a town which we destroy, they shall not return, 95, until when Gog and Magog are let loose and they procreate forth from every back, a progeny of various species, 96, truthful Allah the Great Holy Quran Chapter Al-Anbiya Chapter number 21, verses 95-96 That is the promised day that's coming forth because it is the end of an appointed time of respiting, where it is till the day the disbelievers rise from the dead. Therefore the Zul Khanan, a past divinely inspired leader who encountered Gog and Magog far back in history and built a great dam inside of hollow earth, said in the narratives of the Grand Holy Quran, he said, This is a mercy from my Lord, but when the promise of my Lord comes to pass he will crumble it, and the promise of my Lord is ever true. 98, and on that day we shall let some of them surge against others and it will come to pass when blown the images, meaning the order of be and it is will be on the dead, then we shall gather them all together. 99, truthful Allah the Great. Holy Quran Chapter Al-Kaf Chapter Number 18 Verses 98-99 And it means resurrection of whom Allah wicks from among the disbelievers of the nations. And then all of them will be gathered, the living and resurrect dead, all together for achieving the goal of the awaited Mahdi to fulfill the purpose of mankind creation and they will be gathered under Imam's Mahdi, divinely guided man of God, because he worships Allah's pleasure of being pleased and that is the reality of Allah's name, that is the greatest joy is in the pleasure of Allah's self to be pleased, which means the attribute of the pleasure of himself is the most high blessing that is there to attain and it is far more greater than having the heavenly garden, paradise in confirming with the word of Allah the Most High, Allah has promised to the believers, men and women, gardens, wherein flow rivers, to abide therein, and goodly dwellings in gardens of perpetual abode, and greatest of all is Allah's goodly pleasure, that is the grand achievement, truthful Allah the Great, Holy Quran Chapter al Tawbah, Chapter Number 9, Verse 72. But this name, the graceful joy of himself is ultimate pleasure, has gone from Allah, the Most High, self because of his anger upon servants, the rebellion servants. So my greatest blessing would not be fulfilled until Allah is pleased in himself, and he would never be pleased until he make everyone enters in his mercy, and that is my banner and my purpose but most people do not know, and I am the one who is well aware about the all-merciful, so believe. And I did not take Allah's pleasure the greatest joy in his grace as a mean to achieve the smaller blessing of bounty to grace, in fact I want Allah to be pleased in himself solely for himself to be pleased, not having sorrowing annoyance upon his servants nor angry, oh my astonishment is on those whom they claim that they love their Lord. Yet, how they enjoy the heavenly garden and the most outstanding beautiful females of her eyne while their Lord is not pleased in himself neither happy nor joyful, and his sorrow annoyance is because he is the most merciful than all who have mercy. Oh do you think that Allah is happy with chastising his servants, despite the fact that they have brooded on themselves by doing wrongful acts and Allah did not wrong them a thing?
In spite of that I find the most merciful than all who have mercy is sorrowing upon his servants when he annihilated them because they have denied his messengers and have denied the signs from their Lord. Then Allah God destroys them for their wrongdoings, but when he does annihilated them, he says in himself a saying that even his angels nor the closest among his servants hears it. O oh my sorrow for the servants, never does a messenger come to them but they mock him. 30. Don't they see how many generations we have destroyed before them, and they have not returned back to them? 31. Truthful Allah the Great. Holy Quran Chapter Ya Sen. Chapter Number 36. Verses 30 31. By Allah, how much is the sorrow of the mother on her son if he was thrown into hell fire? And you have to know that Allah's sorrow on his servants is greater than the sorrow of the mother on her son and the reason is because Allah is the most merciful than all who have mercy, and that what Muhammad messenger of Allah prayer of forgiveness and peace be upon him and his family was ignorant about the self-feeling of his Lord, for Muhammad almost let his soul to depart out of grief in sorrow on the people who disbelieve Allah's message, then how about the sorrow of he who is most merciful than his servants Muhammad messenger of Allah prayer of forgiveness and peace be upon him and his family but the sorrow of Muhammad messenger of Allah on the disbelievers made him distracted from thinking in the extent of the sorrow of he who is most merciful than his servants. It is for that Allah the Most High have said addressing his prophet, so be not of the ignorant. Truthful Allah the Great Holy Quran Chapter Al-Anam Chapter Number 6 Verse 35 that is to say the ignorant ones are those who have not known Allah to be the most merciful of all those who have mercy, and immediately Allah have reprimanded his prophet with the saying don't be among the ignorant because Muhammad's intensity of sorrow in himself for the disbelievers, and Allah said to Muhammad his prophet reprimanding him, so let not your soul waste in sorrow on them. Truthful Allah the Great Holy Quran Chapter Fatir Chapter Number 35 Verse 8. Also he said to his prophet, Taha, we have not revealed the Quran to you that you may be unsuccessful, but it is a reminder to him who fears. Truthful Allah the Great Holy Quran Chapter Taha Chapter Number 20 Verses 1 to 3 And Allah said, Perhaps you will disappoint yourself with grief because they believe not. Truthful Allah the Great Holy Quran Chapter al Shuara, Chapter Number 20 26, verse 3. And Allah said, Then maybe you will disappoint yourself with grief, sorrowing after them, if they believe not in this announcement. Truthful Allah the Great. H. Al Kaf. 18 to 6. But Allah's Messenger Muhammad did not get the notion for the secret behind his reprimand and to what extent of this reprimanding to him from his Lord. So if this was your condition O oh Muhammad Messenger of Allah whom Allah sent him as a mercy to the worlds, so how is extent of who is more merciful than you to his servants, Allah the most merciful than all who have mercy? But Muhammad Messenger of Allah prayer of forgiveness and peace be upon him and his family was being ignorant of that, therefore his Lord reprimanded him a scolding admonishment and not to be of the ignorant ones who do not know their Lord.
and Allah the Most High said, And if their turning away is hard on you, then, if you can, seek a tunnel into the earth or a ladder to heaven, to bring them a sign, and if Allah wishes, he would certainly have engulfed them all in guidance, so be not of the ignorant, truthful Allah the Great, Holy Quran Chapter Al-Anam, Chapter Number 6, Verse 35, It is the reason why that Allah the Most High have said, The All-Merciful, so ask respecting to who he is that one who's aware of who he is, Truthful Allah the Great, Holy Quran Chapter Al-Furqan, Chapter Number 25, Verse 59, and Muhammad Messenger of Allah prayer of forgiveness and peace be upon him and his family knew that there is a person in his nation who is going to be more knowledgeable in the all merciful than him for that Messenger of Allah prayer of forgiveness and peace be upon him and his family said the faith is a Yemeni and the wisdom is Yemeni truthful Allah's Messenger prayer of forgiveness and peace be upon him and his family. Perhaps many of the Muslims is angry at me for what I just said about my knowledge to be higher than a prophet, but I have more right to my great grand forefather, Muhammad, than them and I am more jealous on him than them in stating the truth. Therefore I say, how could you make the highest degree of knowledge exclusively to the Prophet and Messengers? Are you the one who apportion Allah's mercy? Do you know what was the reason for the story of the knowledge course sessions by a mere man of God to the a man who spoke to Allah, Moses, a prophet from Allah? That's because Moses thought that he is the most knowledgeable among the people because Allah have spoken his words unto him directly from behind a heavenly separator, Sedra al motaha which is why Allah have sent Moses to that righteous man to learn that Allah can give knowledge even to a mere righteous man of God. Hence, the Muslims are ought to not to exclude the divine knowledge to be exclusive to their prophets and messengers and not to be given to the righteous as well. Perhaps a righteous man is more knowledgeable than a prophet or a messenger. One having knowledge of the book said, I will bring it to you in the twinkling of an eye. Truthful Allah the Great Holy Quran Chapter Al-Naml Chapter Number 27 Verse 40 also the Christians are like the Muslims for they will be angry at me, and they would say, How do you think yourself an Imam, divinely guided leader, for Allah's messenger Jesus son of Mary? And that truth is a fact and it is maybe a reason for many of the Christians' tribulation, for they do not believe until they see the painful chastisement from the Lord. So keep your duty to follow the truth O community of Christians and Muslims, for you will wish best that your mothers would bereave you rather than not listen to what I said. I swear by Allah the Most High the Great that I am the awaited Mahdi who is an Imam, divingly guided leader, to bring you all to be one nation, and Allah is my Lord and your Lord so worship him alone with no partner with him, glory be to him above what they associate with him, highly exalted, beyond measure, and I do not say take me as a God besides Allah, in fact I say to you you be learned obedient servants to Allah and worship Allah my Lord and your Lord as he should rightfully so worth to be worshipped to that you may be shown mercy O people Allah had made me an imam of this nation so he would certainly make you a one nation under Allah in confirming with the word of Allah the most high do not those who believe know that if Allah please he would certainly guide all the people, truthful Allah the Great, Holy Quran Chapter Al-Rayat.
chapter number 13, verse 31 and in confirming with the word of Allah the Most High, and if your Lord had pleased, he would have made people a single nation, and they cease not to differ, except those on whom your Lord has mercy, and for this did he create them. Truthful Allah the Great, Holy Quran chapter, Huot, chapter number 11, verses 118 to 119 but Allah guides whom he pleases and if the people wishes to be guided these are of which he pleases it is not given to the people nor it is by the people to have a saying on what should be the fate of Imam Mahdi, nor have a saying on how I should go about worshipping my Lord, that is the secret wisdom behind our creation which is to fulfill true worship to my Lord and for that the disbelievers of the nations before us will be resurrected, for certainly they will be resurrected in order for for them to be guided and shown the straight path. So Allah makes them all, the resurrected ancient former disbelievers that came back to life in our generation although they wetter of past generations but they will be living in our era. All are going to be one nation under Allah to achieve by his chosen servant man of God the purpose of worship to bring pleasure of God's self please. But you are ignorant about my merit and you do not fathom what my secret to fulfill true worship. For one of my loyal friends said to me at one time, be lenient with the Muslims guide them but step by step, surely what I declare in Quranic understanding is extremely high quality saying that is out of the ordinary, their minds may not understand it, and my friend continued in saying, look at the infant they give him milk, then bread, then meat. So I said to my friend, O oh son of Omar, had it not been in a time that passed for my declarations to be out there for them since the month of Muharram 1426 after Hijra lunar year and here we are now in the end of 1428 after Hijra lunar year. Is it not that an infant eats bread and meat after two years? Well, it has passed more than two years where I have gave my divinely given declarations of understanding the Quran, in that I have given what proves my point and showed my God-given status as an appointed leader from my Lord, and that Allah gave me the knowledge of the Grand Quran. As for those deniers to what I am, I say, why these scholars who found in my word any error, why do not they stop me as they have found T my saying to be directing to a wrong path, so they would bridle me with the Grand Quran totally. But in the contrary surely I am in the right path and I challenge all scholars of all heavenly religions, Judaism, Christianity and Islam, all of them, all together with the truth I was given, narrations of my Lord in the Grand Quran. As for the difference between jinns and satans, so, Iblis, Lucifer was of the jinn, unseen beings, entities, family, genealogy, and Allah honored him and made him an angel of jinn, an angelic being that holds the characters an angle have, of jinn. In order to be known for it is an example of Allah capability, for Allah has made Gabriel to transform into a human although he is from the angelic beings, for it is as Allah wells then it will be dot and if Allah wishes to, certainly Allah could make human beings to transform into an angle.
but Iblis, Lucifer, was not a thankful being for the bounty of having the angelic characteristics he held as a being from the jinn and he became arrogant and deludive of what he is and he disobeyed Allah's order to prostrate, metaphorically meant to give elegance to Adam but he refused to do so because he thought of himself to be superior to Adam, for he, Lucifer, sees himself better because he was created to be made out of fire material and he was given the status of an angel, so he is an angle that of fire while Adam was created out of dry soil like the earthy clay material. Allah the Most High said, So the angels made obeisance, all of them together, thirty, but, Iblis, Lucifer, did it not, he refused to be with those who made obeisance. 31. He said, O Iblis, what is the reason that you are not with those who make obeisance? 32. He said, I am not going to make obeisance to a mortal, whom you have created of sounding clay, of black mud fashioned into shape. 33. He said, Then go forth, for surely you are driven away. 34. And surely on you is a curse till the day of judgment. 35. He said, My Lord, respite me till the time when they are raised. 36. He said, Surely you are of the respited ones. 37. Till the period of the time made known. 38. He said, my Lord, as you have judged me erring, I shall certainly make evil fair seeming to them on earth, and I shall cause them all to deviate. 39. Accept your servants of the sincere ones. 40. He said, This is a right way with me. 41. As regards my servants, you has no authority over them except such of the deviators as follow you. 42. And surely hell is the promised place for them all. 43. It has seven gates. For each gate is an appointed portion of them. 44. Truthful Allah the Great. Holy Quran Chapter al hijjah Chapter number 15, verses 30 to 44 Indeed, Iblis, Lucifer and all Satans from Jinn and mankind are enemies to all mankind and Jinn, and Iblis, Lucifer said, Certainly I will take of your servants a due portion. And we would never make his portion with Allah's permission other than who worship Satan while they know that he is the outcast Satan, and they were not astray, in fact they know that Allah is the truth and they are hateful to the truth, and if they saw the way of the truth they do not take it for a way because they know it is the truth from their Lord, and if they saw the way of a vera, falsehood and the stray, they took it for a way because they know it is the way of the outcast Satan, those are his due portion with Allah's permission. Such evil plotting will engulf none but its authors, and indeed we are dominant over them, and Allah's soldiers are surely the victorious, and it will never avail them their solidarity with each other and what they were plotting, and Satan prepared an army of great number from Gog and Magog, their fathers of the human Satans, and their mothers are from the female Satans, but the army of the awaited Mahdi is all Allah's soldiers in the heavens and the earth, and indeed we are dominant over them. Allah's promise and Allah does not fail his promise but most people are not grateful. Certainly we belong to Allah and we are certainly shall return to him. Brother of the Muslims, the humble upon them, humility to Allah Lord of the worlds, the smail abase imam between Allah's hands the Lord of the worlds, the awaited Mahdi the supporter to Muhammad messenger of Allah, and the grand Quran, the imam Mahdi Nasser Muhammad al-Yemeni read.